Hi everyone, it's Malia again. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. Today we are going to be making a summer wreath. Guys, I am really excited about this because this is going to be my first time and I'm really excited to share this with all of you. So if you want to know how I went on and did this, kindly stay tuned to the end of the video. Um, for this craft, we need a few things and um, we need flowers. I got these from AC Moore, some roses, some lavender, some pinks and some white kept it really simple. We also need a glue gun, of course, glue sticks, butterfly clips, an initial, and I did not use the stem wire you see in the photo because I just didn't know how to use it. Yeah, it didn't work out. So let's get started here. You need flowers like I mentioned and you need a pair of scissors, floral scissors, and of course you need the grip vine so all that I'm doing now is just cutting about three inches away from the petals like two to three inches away from the petals um, just so I can get enough of the stem to bend and stick right through the grip vine like you see me do at the moment so all that I did now was just to arrange the flower, the flowers the way that I kind of imagined it to look the whole thing I wanted to see it before I could actually glue them on so right now nothing is set in stone there is no glue there is no adhesive whatsoever it's just loosely fitted inside the grip vine and I would advise that you do this then take a photo of your entire you know your final product take it all down and start all over again this would help you save time it would help you envision what you want to do it will help you know if the flowers that you picked is actually what you want to spend time using and just before I forget the floral scissors I got that from Walmart but I would not advise that you get it from Walmart why because the ones that I got broke right after my last flower, like right after I cut the last flower, everything just fell into pieces. So I had to return it. So you might want to spend a little bit more money and get something steady. So as you can see, that red flower there, uh uh, it's got to go. So I had to pull that right out and just rearrange everything. Gluing things would not allow you to do all this you know actually pull out and pull put back in so that's why I advise that you don't glue anything at this at this stage so yeah you just gotta be creative go to the store and all you have to do is get a couple flowers that you actually really like not too loud and not too quiet put them together at the store make sure that they complement each other you know make sure that they complement each other and um, what you could do is just you know play around with that make sure you like it before you actually buy it and you just have to be creative you just have to um, just play around with that you can't really recreate exactly what someone else has created because it's art you know you can't really do it the exact same thing and it, it's okay it becomes personal, it becomes um, you. Art has to be you. You have to have your special touch to it. So if it doesn't turn out the way that you wanted it to turn out, it's still beautiful because you did it. Yeah, so that's how I just saw it. I just did it the way that I envisioned it. So I added some of the white flowers on the, at the tip um, with the little green leaves just to pop it up a little bit at the moment it looks a little clumsy and all over the place but that's okay because remember I am gonna take all of it down and just really arrange it now perfectly how I want it because I also feel like right now the grays of the roses are the roses that are gray are a little bit closer together and the pinks are closer together but finally I had to just mix them in just really spread them out so they can complement each other and the straw is just not working out and at that moment I had like a 
a little slow moment, probably like a minute or two, just sitting there doing nothing. And you might have those just trying to make your week. And it's okay. When that happens, you know what to do? Go get you something to drink, relax your, your hands, and uh, yeah, just come back. And you would see that you can see it in a different perspective. You're going to see something that you didn't see before. So that's okay. So at this stage, all that you see me do is now glue everything. I'm gluing everything back on now, securely. Um, you can see my iPad all the way over there. I have a picture on there of what I had done before and was just looking back on there and making sure I was recreating the same thing and just making it a little perfect. So this is the final look right here. The initial I had to glue it on but it didn't stay so luckily enough I was just able to stick it right between the really big like you know in between the grapevine it was just like really strong um, wood coming out I just stuck it right there and it's really steady it's not going anywhere very steady so I made this for a very special woman in my life and I just hope that she likes it this is how it's looking guys this is how it's looking a little bit closer in detail this is how it's looking Yeah, so if you like this video, kindly give me a thumbs up, subscribe, like, comment, whatever you would like to do. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video. And I love you guys. Bye.